Lucy Rosich, and I'm a Seattle-based artist and illustrator. So this is my work desk. Uh, that's where I do everything that I do here. I spend a lot of time here, many, many hours in the day. And I like it because I get really nice natural light. Even though there's a lot of trees out there, it does kind of filter in, so it's, it's really nice and natural. Um, I do tend to work really late into the night, so that's kind of hard sometimes because this light does it, it does its job, but um, it is nice to kind of get the, the unfiltered daylight. This is my watercolor palette. It's relatively new for me, but as you can see, I've, I've put it to some pretty good use so far. It's also bulletproof, which is pretty strange and awesome, so if I'm ever in a gunfight, I will be protected. These are all my brushes I've collected over years and years. And it's funny, like, the more I work, the more I just keep collecting the tiniest brushes possible. Because, like, the details just keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. But somehow it just feels feels right. My, my vision is going to get a lot worse over the next couple of years. But so far, so good. This is where I work. I would describe my style as little folkloric vignettes. They're very situational in nature. It's very steeped in old world mythology and folklore, but with a lot of elements of like pop culture. So it brings an element of like modernity to it. So you'll have um, an old German style uh, spring devil spirit wearing high top Converse or Nikes or something like that. So I kind of bring both of those worlds together because I feel like it really um, more appealing that way for me. It's like bringing, uh, bringing some old pieces of history with some elements of a uh, new, new world culture. Um, I've done everything from gallery work shows for years now to um, a stop motion music video of my artwork for the Fleet Foxes. I've done a lot of commercial work. I've done stuff for the EMP. I've done a lot of album artwork, um, mainly for Washington bands. Um, that would be The Curious Mystery, which is, was on K Records, and then Earth, which is on Southern Lord. So I've, I've kept it pretty local, and it's nice to have musicians here whom I love and respect reach out to me and want to collaborate with me on record um, artwork. Um, but this one right here might be one of my favorites. I got it in Budapest when I was uh, in Eastern Europe. I got a grant to go over there. So this is in one of these like specialty folklore shops, which are everywhere in Budapest. They're they're very proud of their their folkloric heritage. Um, I like it because he's got a little furry mane right there, and he just looks so jovial for being the devil. Actually, and this is also one of my favorite ones too. I got this on Halloween Day in Salem, Massachusetts, from a guy who was dressed as a zombie. People have told me to paint it, but somehow I like the natural integrity of this, or this organic wood. It's so freaky. A lot of my inspiration comes from uh, the histories of different world cultures. I think mainly it started out from exploring my, my father's Croatian heritage uh, and seeing that vast regions, beautiful costumes and traditions and weavings and from there it kind of was a really great springboard to move all over the world and explore and research and see how many different um, Different tribes and cultures really implemented storytelling in a way of like theater or oral traditions or, or beautiful weavings and textiles and tapestries and artwork. And so I think that for me was a really inspiring moment for me when I was probably in my late teens. I think I like a lot of the narratives from TV shows, <laughs> from like, you know, The Simpsons, things I grew up on, and I like to kind of blend them together and create my own, you know, parable for like present day. Um, and I think growing up in Washington and in Seattle specifically was really wonderful because there's something about this climate here. It's very, it's very lush and it's very gray. And it's very, it kind of harbors a lot of creativity and a time to be really, to be very introspective. And I think the fact that there are so many different and very present Native American tribes around here and they were very alive and well. Uh, that was something that I, I was very aware of early on in my life, and I think it's just a very, it's a very welcoming and it's a very understanding place to be. There is a lot of community here, a lot of, a lot of encouragement and a lot of respect to 
grow with. It's very nurturing. 